Grade 6 math number 4.7, divide fractions. This is going to sound a little confusing at first, but bear with me, okay? A multiplicative inverse is a reciprocal of a number that when multiplied by that number, it equals 1. Two numbers are reciprocals of each other when their product equals 1. What the heck is a multiplicative inverse? Well, look. The multiplicative inverse of 1 third is 3 over 1. See it right here? 3 over 1 is the reciprocal of 1 third. Just turn the fraction upside down. 1 third is the reciprocal of 3 over 1. 3 over 1 is the reciprocal of 1 third. See that? They're just flipped upside down, aren't they? So that's the multiplicative inverse. What happens when we multiply? See, it says multiply by that number, it equals 1. What happens when we multiply 3 over 1 by 1 third? 3 times 1 is 3. 1 times 3 is 3. Do you remember? When the numerator and denominator are the same, it equals 1. Now you get it, right? No big deal. Just flip that fraction upside down, okay? Well, that's how we divide. When we divide by a number, it's the same thing as multiplying by its reciprocal. Did you know that? 6 divided by 2 is the same thing as 6 times a half. The reciprocal of 2, remember we can put it over a 1 to make it a fraction. So the reciprocal of 2, or 2 over 1, is a half. We flipped it upside down. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 6 times a half is 3. What if all these yellow th bars were halves? and we had six of them, well, that would be three, see? Now, because the uh, multiplying and dividing are inverse operations of each other, we can check our answers with them. When we divide, we can check with multiplication. Six divided by two equals three. Three times two equals six. Six times a half equals three. Three divided by a half equals six. So we could just go backwards and do the opposite to check it. So when we divide, it's the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. 5 eighths divide, divided by 1 fourth, we flip this around and it becomes 4 over 1, and now we're multiplying, see? We're not dividing anymore. So 5 eighths divided by 1 fourth becomes 5 eighths times 4 over 1. The 4 and the 8 can cancel out as a 1 and a 2. If you've seen my other videos, you know about canceling out. If you don't, you should watch them. There's one 4 here and two 4s here, and they cancel each other out crossways. Then we just multiply across. 5 times 1 is 5. 2 times 1 is 2. We get 5 over 2, which when reduced to its lowest terms is 2 and a half. See, there's two 2s in here, which is 1. There's another two 2s, which is another 1, and then there's a half left over. Okay? 7 eighths divided by 5 6 turns out to be 7 eighths times 6 over 5. We flipped it, see? The 8 and the 6 can cancel out as 3 and 4. So there's 3 2's here and 4 2's here. Now we can multiply across as 21 over 20. And when we reduce that to its lowest terms, there's a 20 20th hiding in here, which is the 1. And there's 1 20th left over. So you have 1 and 1 20th. See? Dividing fractions. So flip the divisor to the reciprocal and multiply across. 3 4's divided by 2 ends up becoming 3 fourths times a half. We flipped it around, the 2 over 1. 3 times 1 is 3, 4 times 2 is 8, and we have 3 eighths. For the next one, we've got 2 fifths divided by 5. We could put the 5 over a 1 to turn it into a fraction and then flip it to its reciprocal. 2 fifths divided by 5 becomes 2 fifths times 1 fifth. 2 times 1 is 2. Whoops, that's supposed to be a 2. And 5 times 5 is 25, and we have 2 25ths. See? All right. What if we have a more difficult problem like this? 4 7 plus 1 14 divided by 2? Well, you know, we're supposed to do in the parentheses first, according to order of operations. So let's give them the same denominator. 4 7 can be multiplied by 2 to become 8 14 4 times 2 is 8, 7 times 2 is 14. Now we can add it to the 1 14th and get 9 fourteenths. Now we can divide it by 2 by putting the 2 over a 1, flipping it around to a half, 
and now we have 9 14 times a half. 9 times 1 is 9. 14 times 2 is 28. And we have 9 28 See? No big deal. What if it said how many 1 8 yard pieces are in 4 fifths of a yard? Well, we have 4 fifths of a yard, and we want to split it into 1 8 yard pieces. So we're going to do 4 fifths divided by 1 8. This is similar to one in the book. We're going to flip this around to its reciprocal, and it's going to become an 8 over 1, and we're going to multiply instead of divide. Now we have 4 fifths times 8 over 1. We multiply across because it can't cancel itself out. 5 and 8 don't go into each other, and 1 and 4 are as small as they can go. So we just go straight across, and we get 32 over 5. So now, to reduce it to its lowest terms, we say, we ask ourselves, how many times can 5 fit into 32? 5 times 6 is 32, so there's 6 with 2 fifths left over, so it's 6 and 2 fifth pieces. See? Piece of cake. This is no big deal. And now you know this big fancy word, multiplicative inverse, and you know that all it is is taking a, num a fraction, flipping it upside down, or taking a whole number, putting a 1 underneath it, multiplying it to its inverse, and it'll equal 1. No big deal, right? You got that. Keep up the good work, and I'll see you next video. Bye.